I moved. Yes, last June, I picked up my life from Markham and I moved to Vaughan. And let me tell you, it was chaos. Packing, unpacking, kids, school, phew. Anyways, I digress. I lived in Markham for 28 years. So I know the ins and outs, I know the likes and dislikes of Markham, etc. But now that I've moved to Vaughan, Vaughan is starting to grow on me. Don't get me wrong, I still love Markham, but there are some things in Juan that I like better than Markham. So today I'm going to talk about just that, what I loved about Markham and what I love about Juan. If you are indecisive about which one to choose, then keep on watching. My name is Faiza and I'm the new kid in town. Um, let's start again. My name is Faiza and I'm your new local real estate agent. On this channel, we talk about anything and everything you need to know about Vaughn. If you find any value out of this video, please hit the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. All right, let's talk about Markham versus Vaughn. Both these cities are hustling and bustling with people and businesses. However, Markham has just started the landscape of the condos in the Unionville area, whereas Vaughn already has quite a few condo buildings and still going. I like that because that gives it a more of a city vibe, urban feel in a suburb, if you will. Also, it creates a variety of different price points for people. For example, someone who is interested in starting to invest in real estate would rather buy a, uh, a condo than a townhouse or a, or a detached house. Or someone who is a first time home buyer may not be ready to buy a townhouse at this point and would like to test the home ownership waters by buying a condo instead. One thing that I liked about Markham was the Asian restaurants. It is no secret that Markham's demographic is primarily Asian oriented, which means there's a lot of variety of Asian cuisine. And I really miss my sushi and dumplings. Markham also has a huge South Asian community, which means access to South Asian groceries and restaurants, which I also dearly miss. And at the same time, the Muslim community in Markham is growing very rapidly, which means I had easy access to the mosques and halal meat, etc which one still needs to work on. That being said, I love how many shopping options we have here in Vaughan. There is Vaughan Mills, but then every nook and corner has a huge plaza. And I'm not talking small stores either. Vaughan is basically known for its retail sector. So if you are a shopaholic, you would love Vaughan. Markham had amazing parks. Every nook and corner had a small park or a big park and residents don't have to go very far. Vaughn, on the other hand, has Wonderland. So if you like screaming your head off on a roller coaster like me, then you will love this aspect of Vaughn. One thing that I also love about Vaughn is how central it is to other cities. Doesn't matter where you are in Vaughn, you have access to a highway that links you to other major highways. So for example, if you are in Kleinberg, you are close to Highway 27, which links you to Highway 427, which takes you further west like Brampton and Mississauga, etc. Highway 400 runs literally in the middle of Vaughn and connects you to 407 and 401. You can be in one corner of Vaughn and drive to the other corner of Vaughn in about half an hour. Disclaimer, as long as you're not driving during rush hours. That being said, the public transport in Markham has gotten much better over the years and it is very well connected through YRT and TTC, whereas one still has a little bit of work to do and it is still a very vehicle dependent city. That's it for today. This is not by any stretch a detailed video. As I learn more about the city, I will be adding more and more videos for you to watch. If you want to follow along, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, if you found any value out of this video, please hit that like button and help me catch the YouTube algorithm train. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you around town.